Team Run Smart Pro Jimmy Navarez here coming to you with another video on how to easy do it. This one's going to actually be the one that was the follow up to the hood spot mirror where we're going to show you how to take off the spot mirror that is located on the mirror that sticks out on your driver door uh, below your side view mirror. Uh, it should be just as easy of a fix and very similar to the hood spot mirror. Here you'll actually see the mirror we're going to be replacing. where step one is going to be from my first video in the series it's actually going to be the uh, c-clip right here the retainer ring to go ahead and take off your side view mirror so with your key powered on you're going to want to move that mirror all the way out to the left or right depending on which mirror it is you'll pop that c-clip up and then you'll expose the guts of your mirror and we'll actually be able to get the four screws needed to remove the backing from the entire mirror housing. So as you can see here, we've removed the two heating elements from the main side glass, removed it uh, completely to get it out of the way. And then we've removed these four star wrench screws, which then allow you to slide up and off your mirror housing and now I take you to the back side of the mirror which is going to expose the same exact um, pressure fitting that you're going to pull on to release the mirror so you're going to take this fitting here you're going to pull on it with a pair of needle nose pliers turn it vertical and your mirror will fall right out the front that's exactly the same way as we did the hood spot mirror uh, to put it together, we'll just do all the steps in reverse. We'll put that glass back on. We will slide it through the hole. We'll pull on that pressure fitting until it is nice and tight and enough room to turn it horizontal, locking that mirror into place. Next step to put it back together will be taking the cover and sliding it back over the top of the mirror. So now we've gone ahead, slid the mirror back over the top. We're gonna check these four screws to make sure they're nice and tight. You don't want that coming loose on the road. With your star wrench. Then, it's time to get the side view mirror back on. Make sure, make sure that C-clip is in the up position. You are going to reattach. Your heating element wires get that mirror back on there and lock it down and there you have it folks a nice new mirror replacement all in once again like the other mirror replacement less time than it took for them to load my trailer so another nice easy fix being the only tool that we actually needed on this one was a star wrench or star screwdriver. I hope you were able to benefit from my little demonstration here. And remember, some of the fixes you can do yourself can save you a whole lot of money in the long run. Be sure to visit TeamRunSmart.com and be sure to check out Team Run Smart on YouTube and Freightliner Team Run Smart on Facebook. Thank you very much. Everybody stay safe out there. Keep them wheels turning.